Roman Gangster for today's video. Now, this just came out in about guys from Attorney Jeremy. Judge argues that the additional time will not affect the schedule to resolve the case, but I don't see how that is possible. It has to affect the schedule for briefing summary judgment. Case summary judgment res resolution now, not until March to May 2022. Wow. So, what are your thoughts about this, guys? I mean, remember, they're delaying it for what purpose? Oh, because the world probably isn't ready yet, right? If we go down here, why does the judge keep giving the giving the SEC special treatment over Ripple because it's a show, the case is not real. Again, this indicates to me that there probably isn't going to be a bear market for XRP. Now, why? Let's say, hypothetically, there's going to be a blow off top end of this year, right? For Bitcoin, the whole cryptosphere. And then we see XRP not doing so much. It, it could possibly skyrocket as well, right? Because the FOMO will be unreal. But the blow off top has now happened and everyone thinks we are now in a bear market. Every coin will crash 80, 90%, right? But remember the black swan, which is the SEC, the external events case, right? Will come in. A, will come out in about next year, and then when it's resolved, XRP finally goes up. Utility is now implemented as well. So there's a lot of hypotheticals we could be talking about. But again, um, if we go to the next week, which is a possibility from obvious rise, here's what's in store for XRP in my opinion. Sideways th through November, ten ten dollars end of year. Big exchanges relisting XRP January 2022. $30 Q1 2022 crash 50% everyone believes XRP is also entering bear market Q2 2022 SEC issue XRP officially becomes the X, the standard currency everyone FOMOs XRP $200 now this is obviously a possibility but remember this guys remember 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 because Mr. Intuitive is sweet out it will happen when you least expect it now listen to this so so last year remember least expected before Christmas they announced the SEC case, right? With Ripple, they announced it unexpectedly, right? So, probably when it does settle, when the dust settles and the case settles, it will happen when we least expect it. So, it ends where it begins. Perhaps December, we could get a settlement again. Listen, don't listen to what they say, but watch what they do. In a blink of an eye, everything will be flipped on its head. Pretty interesting stuff, isn't it? Now, you know how this doesn't make sense at all, this whole show? Because we see right here from Seven, Grayscale bought Ethereum and Bitcoin with its XRP sales due to the SEC's action. The SEC not only stole billions from XRP holders, they even made us pay for the gains of Ethereum and Bitcoin. Look at this, again. SEC filled his pockets with our money, again guys. So we know the corruption is going on and on and on behind the scenes, in front of our faces. For some reason, the judge doesn't seem to care, right? Because they know it's all a show, guys. Now, once again, again from Mr. Intuitive, Gary, are you there? Of course you are. That's a problem. Look at this. Gary, are you there? We know you're there, Gary. What are you talking about? We have to be technology neutral but not policy neutral. You're picking winners and losers all the time. We got a monopoly on Bitcoin and Ethereum, the slowest and most expensive tech out there. Why not let others compete? Why not let the people choose what they want? Let's reduce that friction. Let's reduce those costs. If we're gonna be technology neutral, let's let the best man win, Gary. Come on, I'm getting sick of this. <laughs> Again, guys, I mean, remember, they're picking winners and losers. XRP first in the gate and first out of the gate. All we're waiting for is, I'm pretty sure, clarity, guys. As soon as clarity is resolved, you know, concluded, we now have clarity for XRP. Guess what happens? The floodgates has now opened for... Okay, guys, so this, this is basically the timeline. Clarity, floodgates open for institutions, companies, everyone to buy in, right? Because it's now called a safe haven asset, XRP. All of that money from Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all these other coins, S coins and meme coins will flow into XRP. Guys, I think like 
the way they're playing this game is actually kind of hilarious. Because if you go to Cryptomaniac Suite, again, so we did talk about this right here. Now let's actually investigate what's taking place over here. Now, a lot of people don't think, what, three digits, even higher two digits is possible for XRP. But guys, the proof is in the pudding. Why? Because look at this, XRP moves into the hyper cycle. So remember in the previous cycle, look how, guys, look at the percentages, right? We go here, we copy that ex same, uh, same exact fractal, paste it over here. The target seems to be five hundred dollars, around five eight nine, right? So, again, guys, we can see crypto regulation certainly nears, just as the SEC lawsuit is expected to come to its ending sometime this year, maybe even in time by Christmas. Hmm. Again, remember Christmas, right? Uh, expect the unexpected. Again, guys, duality. Last Christmas was not good. This one probably is good. Guys, I think then we we hit it. We hit the nail on the head, right? Ripple tweet out. Now, guys, you know what's interesting? Ripple tweets these things out, and they don't even care what's going on because they know it's all it's a whole show. What we see right here, basically, from Ripple with that related declines in cash usage, CBDCs are more important than ever. Look at this again. Interoperable payment systems is crucial for future of money. You guys can see connecting the whole world together. Guys, isn't that crazy? We go down here, XRP will bridge all CBDCs across the world. Guys, we know how much more proof do we need? We see towards an era of cross-border CBDCs, fast and affordable cross-border payments networks are essential for the digital economy sustained growth. We go down here. Look at this. This has became or become the catalyst and digitalization process, right? Again, the acceleration, including that of money. Central banks are more willing than ever to experiment with the digital versions of banknotes, fashionably known as central bank digital currencies. Wow, the digital economy. Again, guys, the new era, right? The digital era. That's where XRP thrives and rises like the phoenix that's what we have been waiting for all this time now i'm pretty sure the sec is trying to delay as much as they can guys for these events to take place right but we can see why why xrp will mainly bridge everything together and not only that remember xrp has not only just a cross-border payments use case but on top of use case on top of on top of on top of use cases guys and that's how we know XRP has to, has to be at a very high price for it to efficiently work. Now, Matthew Sudal, National Bank of France gives CBDC a go. Hyperledger is a XRP integrated network. What do we see right here? Again, a lot of talks about what central bank digital currencies. Remember, when they talk about it, that means they have already completed it, right? So behind the scenes, the public does not yet see. Again, the central bank digital currencies will be coming in and out and about guys so be prepared for that what do we see right here the pilot program will continue for 10 months but we already know they all created it guys this project went well beyond previous blockchain initiatives because it successfully tested most central securities and central bank processes whilst eliminating current current steps we are rapidly moving towards fundamental change in the post-trade market infrastructure. Again, guys, look at that. Rapidly moving. Again, things are changing right before our eyes, right? Nigeria is also pursuing CBDCs. China is already leading the pack. So, guys, look at this. The whole world is basically what? Moving, 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 adopting and innovating, right? These new technologies. Because, guys... We're basically heading into a new era, as we have been stating all this time, where XRP reigns supreme as king. So all of these other coins as we see right here, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Cardano, Shiba, Inu, what? Chainlink, and all these other cryptocurrencies will probably vanish away due to the simple fact that XRP, right, has utility. And a few other coins has utility. 99% of these coins probably more will vanish away as well only a few will survive guys pick and choose the right side of history the choice is yours right 
all before our eyes. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and subscribe to be on my channel. So, guys, hope you guys have an amazing day. And you guys, see ya.